move now travis rangers have moved quickly after a three-year-old was attacked by two dingoes on fraser island yes georgie one has already been destroyed but in an exclusive interview with 10 news the girl's father says he doesn't blame the wild dogs she's three years old and so vulnerable her family are in shock first i knew of it was when i was uh, walking back and a, a complete stranger said that um are you david and i said yes i am he said well you, your daughter's um had vacation with the dingo the toddler is lucky to be alive with puncture wounds to both legs. Not, not traumatised at all. I mean, un understandable. She's not particularly happy with, with, with all that's gone on. Her family were about to board the barge to return home after Easter holidays when she was attacked. Witnesses say she wandered off into nearby scrub and that was all the opportunity the dingoes needed. I think it would have been a fatality if I hadn't actually been keeping an eye on the young girl. Uh, it was me running, the barge operator seeing what was going on cite them in their, their movements. I don't know, maybe they should just quarantine them somewhere on the island and leave them alone. The opposition has called for changes. But the management plan on Fraser Island needs to be peer reviewed and uh, the sooner the better. Jennifer Parkhurst has been fined for feeding dingoes but says food drops are needed. So that the dingoes would go into the bush and access that food rather than actually seeking food from people on the beach. The science shows that dingoes are naturally thin animals. They are meant for speed, not for comfort. Locals say rangers should be stationed near the barge to remind parents of the danger. I actually did not see a single working ranger over the Easter period. Family members have rallied around the three-year-old who's recovering in Gympie Hospital. Emma Pollard, ABC News. Conservation kind that's also clearly without an apparent or easy answer. Yesterday there was another attack, this one, this latest one, on a small girl that's turned the spotlight yet again on the wild dingoes of Queensland's Fraser Island. Over the years, it's become bleedingly obvious that finding a balance between the needs and habitat of the animals and the large numbers of humans who visit the popular holiday island every year remains both complex and contentious. Here's Max Futcher. The traditional Easter camping trip to Fraser Island is over for another year, but as thousands catch the barge home, holiday memories will be tainted by yesterday's near tragedy. It's um, never nice to hear that a child or someone's been attacked by a dingo. It's just one of those things you really need to be careful of, um, of the surroundings and just don't take your eyes off of them at all. Park rangers erected a warning sign this morning at the spot where a three-year-old girl was attacked two dingoes. She was separated under... Two dingoes that attacked a three-year-old girl on Queensland's Fraser Island have now been put down. The little girl walked away from her mother and grandmother while they were waiting for a barge to take them back to the mainland. The dogs spit her on both legs before two men chased them away. A dingo conservation group says the toddler should not have been allowed to wander off by herself in the first place. This is Win News. Tonight, the dingo debate ignites. Two fishermen rescued. And two killed in a horrific crash. Good evening, I'm Paul Taylor. A three-year-old is recovering after being attacked by two dingoes on Fraser Island. The incident has sparked a dogfight between animal activists and the state government over whether the girl was supervised at the time. Island authorities claimed the three-year-old girl was mauled by two dingoes late yesterday as she was about to board a barge. The toddler suffering multiple puncture wounds to her legs. She was taken to Gympie Hospital for treatment. But that version of events has come under consequence. Ten years ago, dingoes were blamed for the death of a nine-year-old boy near Waddy Point. The incident forcing the government to clamp down on the management of the wild dogs, including culling many of them. The two dingoes involved in this latest attack have met the same fate. Today they were tracked down by rangers and put down. I think that children are a particular risk because of their size and their likelihood to behave in an excitable way by running or playing. It's a second attack on the island in the past three months. Simon Ward, Win News. This is High News with Andrew Lofthouse and Melissa Downs. 
Good evening. Two dingoes have been destroyed after they bit a three-year-old girl on Fraser Island. The attack was spotted by the skipper of a barge who yelled at campers to rescue the child. These are the two guilty dingoes moments after the savage attack. Their target was a three-year-old who slipped away from her parents as they waited for the barge at Hook Point. The kid went up onto a sand dune and the dog sort of ran around the back and grabbed, it, grabbed the baby, yeah. The child was brought to the ground, was bitten repeatedly on both legs and suffered significant injuries as a consequence. Luckily, there were campers around to rescue the toddler. The dog kept coming, so then, you know, all of us tried to get the dog away from the little girl. The kid could have been dragged near away, yeah. The child was taken to Gympie Hospital. Not traumatised at all. I mean, I understand that she's not particularly happy with, with, with all that's gone on. But uh, Tonight, two dingoes destroyed following an attack on a child. An unborn baby added to a shocking state road toll. Toowoomba could provide links to a local man's death and two fishermen rescued. Across the wide Bay Burnett with Rob Bruff, this is 7 Local News. Good evening. Thanks very much for joining us. A three-year-old girl remains in hospital after a terrifying dingo attack on Fraser Island. Both animals have been destroyed. But dingo advocates are blaming the toddler's parents for letting her escape from their view. The end of a holiday, the start of a nightmare. The poor little girl, she's going to be scarred, uh, probably mentally too. The three-year-old was waiting for the barge at Hook Point with her mother and grandmother when she ran out of view into bushes and two young dingoes pounced. She fell over and one of the... Tonight, dingoes attack a three-year-old girl on Fraser Island, reigniting the debate over culling. The federal government launches a major crackdown on asylum seekers. 24 hours of terror, a series of violent armed robberies from Brisbane to the Gold Coast. And fans in a frenzy. Justin Bieber arrives for tonight's Brisbane concert. This is 7 News with Rod Young and Kay McGrath. Good evening. Two dingoes have been destroyed after they mauled a three-year-old girl on Fraser Island. It's been confirmed there have been other attacks in the past few weeks, reigniting the debate about whether the animal should be culled. Sore but safe at hospital after a terrifying island attack. Oh, it's pretty shocking. Still, it's still happening. Like so many others, the three-year-old was holidaying with family on Fraser. Yesterday afternoon... Animal welfare advocates have criticised authorities on Fraser Island after two dingoes were destroyed. A three-year-old girl was bitten by the two dogs after wandering away from her parents. Activists say they are concerned about the thoroughness of the investigation. We are very confident that we have in fact caught the correct animals that were involved in the attack. We hope QPWS have done enough investigations to get the right animals at this stage. Authorities have reminded parents to keep a close eye on children if visiting the island. Dingo activists fear a pair of wild dogs put down by Queensland Parks and Wildlife yesterday may not be the dingoes responsible for the attack on a three-year-old girl. The group says dingo attacks will continue if the island's management strategy is not overhauled. It's been 10 years since Clinton Gage was tragically killed on the island, but still the attacks continue. This one would have been really bad if it wasn't for a uh, rather brave action of uh, Dave Law, who really needs to be commended in saving that young child. Save Fraser Island Dingo's group says the attack proves the island's management strategy is failing. Visitors aren't heeding warnings and kids are being left unsupervised in the natural environment. You shouldn't, under any circumstances, allow a three-year-old child out of your sight. I mean, it doesn't matter where you are. There's things that we should be doing as well, like actually supervising tourists during times of the year, such as now when there's so many on the island. The opposition has accused the state government of being arrogant towards its handling of dingo management on Fraser Island after the latest attack over the Easter long weekend. Animal activists are demanding the strategy be overhauled before it's too late. Monday's attack has revived heated debate about the Fraser Island dingoes. 
dingo management uh, strategy is Kate Jones's paper. She has to uh, own it and live with it and all the consequences that go with it. The government at the moment is that arrogant towards anything to do with national parks or anything like that. And... A three-year-old girl is in a stable condition after being bitten several times by two dogs. We hope that something like this doesn't happen and when it does, you know, OK, things have failed yet again. The government maintain that everything's fine and rosy, but that isn't the case. Activist Malcolm Kilpatrick says things won't change until the government does. Dingo experts say some aspects of the strategy should be scrapped. Conservationists are calling on the state government to overhaul the dingo management strategy on Fraser Island in the wake of Monday's attack on a three-year-old girl. Experts say tactics being used as part of the plan are leading to more attacks. Fraser Island's dingoes are protected by law unless they're proven to be dangerous. The animals are becoming more aggressive, they've, they've got their territory to think about. But dingo experts claim the government's own management strategy is inciting the predators, causing them to attack. Firing clay pellets at dingoes that come near people with slingshots that should cease. Uh, immediately. The National Dingo Preservation and Recovery Program is demanding an immediate scientific review. It says ad hoc culling is creating younger, less experienced hunters desperate for food. Take advantage of whatever opportunities they see for uh, accessing food, including uh, on, on unfortunate occasions attacking people. A three